Ford Performance Boss Dave Paracott Talks GT Victory at Le Mans Dave Paracock is the global director of Ford Performance and is responsible for all Ford's performance road car and racing activities. Prior to this role, he was chief nameplate engineer for the Mustang and oversaw the development of the current generation of Ford's iconic pony car. Paracock talks about taking the new Ford GT back to La Mans 50 years after the GT40's historic victory over Ferrari. From our first test day we knew the GT had the bones to be an awesome race car and that everything from that point was just going to be getting it ready to race. The testing actually kinda went a little too easy, to be honest. We went to the Daytona 24 hours in 2016 with the confidence that we had shaken out the bugs. But Daytona did not go as planned, with transmission, brake, and engine problems slowing all cars. That didn't crush our spirits. It actually fueled our fire because we knew that we had a fantastic race car and that we made a promise to ourselves, our company, and the world that we were going to race this car and win. We took our first victory in May at Laguna Seca, and then in the same month we took second place at Spa in the WEC series. We really laid down the gauntlet at Le Mans we gave it all we had, putting one car on pole position for the class and also qualifying the others second, fourth, and fifth. Then between qualifying and the start of the race, the Le Mans organizers hit us with two penalties, upping our race weight by 22 pounds and reducing our boost. We had to make all these changes right before the race it was literally just 12 hours before the start and we didn't know what the penalties would do to the car's performance. And then during the warm-up lap, our number 67 car got stuck in gear. We had to bring the car in. We did eventually get it back out onto the track and it served as almost like an in-race test bed because it was so far down, it was never going to win the race, but we could try different setups with it and relay that information to the other three cars. The start of the race was nothing but rain. Our car is very light on its feet, which means it's hard to get heat into the tires, and when it's raining, it's even harder. That's great for wearability we could double and triple stint our tires but it meant we didn't have the best start. Le Mans is a very long track, and if you get caught at the wrong time in a yellow, you can find yourself a lap down, and you have done nothing but hit a yellow. Which happened to us. Then the illuminated number panels on the side of two of our cars stopped working, and we were told to bring them in for repair. One of the cars was in second. We brought it in, repaired it, sent the car out, and it failed again. By the time the car actually got settled down and running again, it was in ninth place, 